Good day, everybody. Welcome to Tackle Tuesday. This is something we're going to try to do every Tuesday to uh, introduce everybody to new uh, tackle, reels, etc. And try to give them a little critique or constructive criticism and just let you know how they're being used around the area. That way you have a better shot at catching the fish you want. We're going to start with the first light. First light. This guy here has been great for snook for a few weeks now. Now the snook bite's diminishing a little bit. Start with the first light. First light. This guy here has been great for snook for a few weeks now. Now the snook bite's diminishing a little bit, but the gags are taking this guy. First light. Uh, they've been asking me for Skittles. I had no clue what Skittles were. Well, I do now. These guys here. That color's been phenomenal. Uh, the gags are hitting them. They were good on snook. Some snook's still being caught, but it's slowing down. The gags are in. Snooks are, seems like to be moving a little bit. The gags are coming in. Remember that. First light Skittles. These guys are being jigged on the bottom or just tough jigging uh, horizontal. They're working. They're working. Give them a try. Now, this guy's been around for a long time. The gambler's been around for a long time. But these guys are back. They're back. Cobia bite. Sarasota Bay, get ready. They're here. They're catching quite a few of them in good sizes. Good size cobia. Remember, structure is the word. Structure, 10 to 15 feet of water. These guys are being jigged from the bottom or horizontal jigging, just subsurface jigging or twitching as well. With that, these gambler guys, the reason why I think they really make a difference when you're doing a stray retrieve with these guys is because of that little groove right there. If you can see that little groove, that gives that tail the ability to turn a little easier. And I think that makes a huge difference when you're doing a straight retrieve and it cranks up that tail just like a propeller. You'll see it, you'll notice a difference on this bait. Now this bait's being used with all different jigs, but the guys that I know that have been catching them, they're using this, this guy here, the Mustad bullet head uh, jig head. They're awesome. And the reason why I say that is because the quality of the hooks. These hooks are phenomenal. When I buy a, a jig, the first thing I look at, first thing I look at is the quality of the hook. If the hook is not of quality, that tells you a lot about the jig itself. Take that into consideration next time you lose a big fish on a hook. That's what's been being used. Think about that. Same with these guys. Just remember that. A stray retrieve with them, or you can jig them on the bottom, or stop surface twitching. Phenomenal, give it a try. We're gonna to try to do this every week and bring you up to date with what everybody's using, new products, things that we can use around the area that may increase your bite. We'll see you next Tuesday. Keep your lines tight. Have a good week.